Okay, hey guys, um, I'm making two videos today. So this one is about RDOP. Um, and here's the cool thing about RDOP. If you have Winmore uh, already set up, um, there is nothing you need to do. There's no program you need to download or anything like that. Um, it works uh, right out of the box. The only thing you need to do is get the beta version of Winlink Express. Go to Settings. Uh, Winlink Express Setup. I'm not going to click it because then it shows personal information. But down in the lower right corner, there's a checkbox you can check to download um, betas of Winlink Express. Check it. Hit the Update button. Uh, and then in a few seconds to a couple minutes, you should get a dialog that says uh, New Version XXXXX Available. Um, Hit the download button. It will download the thing for you automatically. It doesn't take you to, what, uh, to a web page. Uh, it just downloads it in the background, installs it, uh, and then it will uh, restart the program for you, and you'll be on the beta. Um, and again, if you've got Winmore working and already set up, there is no extra configuration that you need to do, nor programs that you need to download. It just works out of the uh, out of the box, um, at least on the ICOM 9100. Uh, if you're running a signal link, you might need to adjust uh, the front panel um, TXRX uh, volume a little bit. But other than that, and it should just work. So just kind of like for the other programs, um, for VARA, we're going to um, just select RDOP, and we'll go ahead and open a session. And we're going to wait for the TNC to, uh, to uh, uh, load here. And we'll give it a second. And I'll turn up the volume so you can hear it. Uh, bef actually, before I do that, uh, one of the things that you're going to need to do, uh, again, is you're going to need to adjust your uh, filter. Um, so it didn't bring up the thing in the background here, so I'll just click it. So there it is. Um, this is the virtual TNC for um, RDOP. Uh, that's A-R-D-O-P. Um, and... Uh, yeah, um, it's it's ready to go. I didn't have to touch anything in here, but I did use the waterfall as a reference to adjust my filter uh, a little bit, um, and I explained it in the uh, Vara video, but one more time, uh, to adjust your filter on the ICOM IC9100, that's 9100, hold down the filter button um, for a, a, a second or two, and then, um, well, let me see here. I'll just do it. Um, here we go. Hold the filter button down uh, for, um, yeah, about two seconds. Uh, hit the F1 button, the function one button, and that will highlight it black. Then use your tuning knob to adjust the waterfall so it fits within inside the uh, lines uh, right here. Uh, once you have that, oh, and by the way, it's uh, two, uh, 2K uh, wide, uh, just so you know. Um, once you have that done, you can hit the F1 button again, um, and then um, hold the filter button, and that will take you out of the, uh, out of the uh, filter uh, settings. So um, that's how you do that, and that's really the only configuration I needed to do. So it looks like somebody is using the channel right now, maybe, or let's see. I'm not hearing anything. Um, interesting. Well, let's give it a shot and we'll see if we can establish a connection. I did it five minutes ago and it worked for this station here, W9FE. Uh, so we'll try this and we'll see how it goes. Here we go. There it is.
I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that worked or not. We're going to try this again. Um, I don't know if it got hung up or if something happened, but uh, let's uh, let's try connecting again, and let's just make sure that it, it connected. Um, let's try it. Interesting. Huh. Well, I mean, that gives you a general idea of what's uh, of what it is and um, uh, how it sounds and whatnot, uh, which is uh, really, really cool. Um, I don't know how far away I am from this station. I can't remember, and I don't remember if it tells me uh, in here. No, it doesn't. Um, but I'm guessing this is... Uh, what is this call sign? W9? Yeah, it's probably a couple hundred miles away, I'm guessing. Um, but uh, maybe it just needed to refresh or something, but uh, it's not hearing anything right now. Let me try connecting again, and let's see if I uh, have better luck. There it is. That worked that time. There we go. So I think it just got hung up before on uh, something, and I just needed to wait a little bit to refresh. But yeah, look how fast that was. That took 0.4 um, minutes, so not even not even half a minute. And that is on HF, ladies and gentlemen. That is um, astounding. Um, on uh, And that was not receiving any messages. I'm about to try it, um, and maybe I'll make a video receiving a message and sending a message on, on both VARA and this protocol at some point. But uh, I just wanted to show you these new uh, protocols. Um, you know, and regarding uh, Winmore, they might be phasing that out here um, in the future. There's no ETA when they'll phase Winmore out and get rid of the Winmore protocol. But having these two really cool protocols is really awesome, and I can't wait to try them out and um, uh, play with them a little bit more. But uh, there you go, guys. That's Vara and um, RDOP. Uh, today. So two videos today, uh, which is awesome. So that's all I have, guys. Seven threes, good DX, and uh, we will catch you uh, on the next one. Take care.